We're on the second floor of Orsan Michele, and we're looking at one of the most famous sculptures that used to be on one of the exterior niches, but has been brought inside to keep it safe. This is Nani de Banco's The Four Crowned Martyrs. These are four ancient Roman sculptors who were asked by the Roman emperor Diocletian to create a sculpture of a pagan god. They refused and were put to death. But the moment that Nani de Banco has chosen to depict is the moment when they're coming to the realization that this will be their fate. This was commissioned by the Stonemasons Guild. Each guild had a niche on the outside of Orsan Michele and chose a sculptor to represent their patron saints. This is unusual in that we have four figures instead of a single figure in a niche. Figures who are human in their interactions. Almost as if there's a negotiation going on between them. And it's as if they're thinking deeply about the consequences of the decision that they're in the process of making. That it is a deeply human experience. So instead of having these single thoughtful figures like Donatello St. Mark, we have figures who are looking at each other, gesturing. Look at the vividness of the interaction. As the man on the right is speaking, his mouth is open, there's that wonderful dark shadow in that really deep carving. And all of them are paying attention, not necessarily focused on him visually, we can see them listen in the most engaged way. This is an extraordinary expression of what stone can do. And this was, of course, for the stonemasons themselves. This guild is showing the nobility of their profession, that stone can get to the heart of what it means to be human and in a noble way to live up to one's belief. And being a sculptor in the early 15th century in Florence meant looking back at the ancient Greek and Roman sculptures. It's in sculpture that we see the revival take place. Artists like Donatello and Nani di Banco, and then later on, soon with Masaccio, we'll see that looking back to ancient Greek and Roman culture. But this looks so ancient Roman to me. The faces look like figures from ancient Roman Republican statues. They're wearing these Roman togas. Several of them stand in contrapposto, especially this one second from the left, where we can really see his knee pressing through the drapery and a sense of his hips and really a body. There's a kind of empathy that I feel for these figures that is intensified because it is these four men. Think about Florence in the 15th century, which was really thinking about its sense of community. They took decisions together, whether or not they were going to acquiesce to the Milanese for example. This notion of doing things together and doing things for the group was absolutely central to the civic nature of this city. With Donatello St. Mark, you have the dignity of the individual, which was a very important part of humanism. And here you have the importance of the relationships, the importance of the group in Nani de Banco's Four Crowned Saints.